Hi guys, today we will be climbing the next step of a ladder of general pharmacology. In last video, we studied about routes of drug administration. Now what happens further once the drug enters the body? How the drug is further processed? Body ka kya response rata us drug ko leka? This all will be studied in pharmacokinetics. So pharmacokinetics is what the body does with the drugs. It is the study of the movement of drug in through and out of the body. This all is carried out in stepwise manner that is absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion, the principle of ADME. In this video, we will be studying about absorption. What is absorption? The movement of the drug or the journey of drug from its site of administration into the blood circulation. Now before studying about absorption, I would like to mention few concepts here. Now the drug to get absorbed into the blood circulation has to enter the cell and sabko pata hai, cell ko cell membrane hota hai. So the drug first need to cross this cell membrane and then it has to enter the cell. Now what is cell membrane? It is also called as biological membrane or plasma membrane. So here we can see the diagram of biological membrane. This is a bilayer of phospholipid and cholesterol. Cholesterol molecules are embedded into this phospholipid layer. There are proteins present, extrinsic protein and intrinsic protein. The extrinsic protein is loosely attached to this outer surface while the intrinsic protein is surrounding this pore. This is a minute pore which is present in between the cell membrane. The second point I would like to mention is about lipid soluble drugs and water soluble drug. What are lipid soluble drugs? The drugs which diffuses or which can pass the lipid membrane very easily are called lipid soluble drugs. They are also called as lipophilic drug. For example, propranolol, metaprolol, diazepam, etc. Now what are water soluble drugs? The drugs which do not pass this lipid membrane or which cannot diffuse through this lipid membrane. They are soluble in water, are called water soluble drugs. Example, etinilol and etc. Now why we studied all this? If we rewind back and see the biological membrane and if the lipid soluble drug is present in this extracellular fluid, it will directly diffuse through this phospholipid membrane and enters into the cell. And the water soluble drugs will enter in the cell through this pore through these minute pores which are present between the cell membrane. Now, how these drugs are transported across the cell membrane? There are four ways by which the drugs get transported into the cell membrane. The first is passive diffusion. The second comes filtration, pinocytosis and active transport. We will study each one in detail. What is passive diffusion? In chemistry, we have learned molecule diffuses from high concentration area into the low concentration area. So the same applies in the passive diffusion of drug. In this figure you can see the drug is presented in high concentration in the extracellular space and this is the lipid membrane, the cell membrane and this is the intracellular space. So as time passes the drug from high concentrated area gets diffused through this lipid membrane into the intracellular space, the region of low concentration area. Mostly lipid soluble drugs diffuse quickly rather than water soluble drugs and almost all drugs are absorbed by this mechanism. The next mechanism comes filtration. The lipid insoluble drug or the water soluble drugs enters the biological membrane or cross the biological membrane by this process. In this the drug enters through the minute pores present in the plasma membrane. So here you can see the drug which is present in extracellular surface enters the intracellular surface through this minute pores so called as filtration. But one criteria applies here is what? If the molecular size of the drug is larger than the diameter of the pore it won't be able to get passed through this pore. Simple logic hai. अगर ड्रग की साइज पोर के साइज से बड़ी होगी तो वो ड्रग वहां से कैसे पास होगा सो फॉर दिस फॉर द लार्जर मॉलिकुलर साइज विल स्टडी हाउ इट गेट्स एब्जॉर्ब इन टू द सेल बाय द फर्दर मैकेनिज्म दैट इज पिनोसाइटोसिस 
pinocytosis is used where the drug size is larger larger molecular size get absorbed by this mechanism here you can see the cell membrane gets invaginated into the cell the cell membrane gets invaginated into the cell and the drug substance which is present into the extracellular fluid gets engulfed into this invaginated cell membrane later the cell membrane separates and form a vesicle to jo drug bahar tha wo is invaginated cell membrane mein suspend ho jata hai and jaise hi wo suspend hota hai wo ek separate vesicle form hota hai and then this vesicle breaks down and the drug particle is further hydrolyzed so this was the pinocytosis the next mechanism comes the active transport very few drugs are absorbed by this mechanism why so only those drugs are absorbed whose natural metabolites are present in body if we take example of iron iron is present inside the cell as well and in case of iron deficiency anemia we give external supplementation of ions so if the iron supplements are present in the extracellular fluid there is a carrier protein present on our cell membrane hmm this carrier protein recognizes its structure and they find that it is very similar to the iron which is present inside the cell so they bind with it and allows the transport of this iron supplements into the cell only few drugs are transported by this mechanism example iron supplements vitamins amino acids or sugar which are naturally matter uh, occurring into the body the here we have seen the different process by which the drugs get transported across the cell membrane and enters the cell now very one imp important factor i would like to tell you is about ph how the ph influences the absorption of the drug now what is ph ph is the power of hydrogen jitne zyada hydrogen ke atom utna zyada uska ph and that will be the basic drug jitna kam hydrogen ke atoms utna less uska ph that is the acidic medium or the acidic drug whenever you give any drug whether it may be in the form of inorganic uh, salts acids or base when they dissolve in water it undergoes the process called ionization now what is ionization ionization is forming of separate ions so the drug you give in any form undergoes ionization after ionization it may be an acid or it may be an base agar tumhara drug acid hoga to it will remain unionized in gastric ph why because jo drug diya hai wo bhi acidic hai and gastric ph ye sabko pata hai hamesha acidic rehta hai so acid and acid it won't react so it remains unionized and this unionized drug or this acidic drug is always absorbed in the acidic medium that is the drug acidic drug will be always absorbed in stomach because it has acidic ph if we take example of aspirin the aspirin which is not enteric coated which is dispersible it is in acidic medium when you give aspirin without enteric coated it will dissolve in stomach because it is acidic and if we give the drug in basic form that is a base it will get ionized in stomach why so because the drug is basic and the stomach has acidic ph so acid and base will react with each other hmm so ionization will occur there and this ionized drug will always get absorbed in the intestine because the ph in intestine is basic so basic drug always absorbed in basic medium the three points which we should remember here is acidic drug absorbed in acidic medium while basic drug absorbed in basic medium and the last point is ionized drug will always be absorbed in basic medium so this was the influence of ph on absorption of drug there are also various other factors which influence absorption or which can vary the rate of absorption we'll study them now there are physical factors like blood flow surface area contact time aqueous solubility filtration concentration and absorption can also vary based on the route of drug administration first we'll study the physical factors in physical factor the first is blood flow greater the blood flow faster is the absorption 
भी अगर यहाँ पे एक एग्जाम्पल देखा जाए तो जितनी तेज हवा उतने जल्दी कपड़े सूखेंगे सो सेम अप्लाइज यर ग्रेटर द ब्लड फ्लो फास्टर इज द एब्जॉर्बन अगर अभी आपने देखा तो स्टमक हैज अ लोअर ब्लड सप्लाई एज कम्पेयर टू इंटेस्टाइन सो ड्रग्स आर मोर फास्टरली एब्जॉर्ब इन इंटेस्टाइन रैदर देन इन स्टमक सो इन मार्केट नाव डेज ड्रग्स आर एंटेरिक कोटेड विच प्रिवेंट्स द ड्रग फ्रॉम गेटिंग डिजॉल्व इन स्टमक एंड प्रिवेंट्स इज एब्जॉर्बन इन स्टमक सो दिस वॉज द ब्लड फ्लो सेकेंड कम्स द सर्फेस एरिया ग्रेटर द सर्फेस एरिया फास्टर इज द एब्जॉर्बन यहाँ पे अगर एक एग्जाम्पल देखा जाए अगर मैंने एक ग्लास पानी इतने प्लेस में डाला तो उसको सूखने में ज्यादा टाइम लगेगा यही अगर एक ग्लास पानी मैंने इतने बड़े प्लेस पे डाला तो उसका एब्जॉर्बन फास्ट होगा तो सेम ईयर सरफेस एरिया ग्रेटर द सरफेस एरिया फास्टर इज द एब्जॉर्बन द सरफेस एरिया ऑफ स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन इज वन थाउजेंड टाइम्स ग्रेटर देन द सरफेस एरिया ऑफ द स्टमक सो ड्रग्स आर मोर एफिशियंटली एब्जॉर्ब इन स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन एज कम्पेयर टू स्टमक द थर्ड पॉइंट कम्स द कॉन्टेक्ट टाइम लेस द कॉन्टेक्ट टाइम लेस विल बी द एब्जॉर्बन सो ओनली इन डायरिया वी डोंट गिव ड्रग्स ओरली वाई बिकॉज इफ ओरली हम ड्रग देंगे इट विल बी वॉश्ड आउट जैसे ही डायरिया होते जाएगा द ड्रग विल बी वॉश्ड आउट फ्रॉम द बॉडी सो कॉन्टेक्ट टाइम लेस होगा तो इट वोट बी एफिशियंटली एब्जॉर्ब देर इफ वी सी वन एग्जाम्पल इफ यू पुट वन टी स्पून ऑफ शुगर इन वन कप ऑफ वॉटर एंड इमिडिएटली फिल्टर इट द एसेंस ऑफ शुगर वोट कम इन दैट वॉटर और यही अगर एक कप पानी में एक चम्मच चीनी डाली एंड इफ यू कीप इट फॉर लॉन्गर टाइम All the essence of sugar will come into that water, and the water will taste sweet. So this was the example of contact time. The next comes the aqueous solubility. अगर तुमने drug solid form में दिया है, तो first it has to be converted, or first it has to be dissolved in aqueous form, and then उसका absorption होगा. तो जितना अच्छा तुम्हारा drug water soluble होगा, उतना fast उसका absorption होगा. If your drug is poorly water soluble. the absorption will be delayed the more the drug is of watery solution syrups liquids the faster they will get absorbed rather the drug given in solid form or oily preparations the next comes the filtration now we know water soluble drugs are absorbed by this mechanism filtration but again it depends upon the molecular weight of the drug and the size of the pores different capillaries have different size For example, the capillaries of uh, the glomerular capillaries have more bigger pores as compared to the pores of capillaries of different organs. So there, the drug will be efficiently absorbed as compared to the capillaries having smaller pores. So this is the filtration part. Next comes the concentration. Abhi concentration kyu important hai? Because passive diffusion takes place with the help of concentration. the more the drug is concentrated the faster it will get diffused the if the drug is diluted the diffusion will be slow and so then the absorption will be slow so this here we saw the physical factors affecting the absorption the next comes how the routes of administration affects absorption if your drug is given orally ओरली ड्रग लेने के बाद पहले तो वो जी आई टी में जाएगा वहाँ पर उसको एपिथेलियल लाइनिंग को क्रॉस करना पड़ेगा एंड देन इट विल एंटर द ब्लड सो ड्रग्स गिवेन ओरली हैव स्लो एब्जॉर्बन एंड अगेन इफ द गिवेन ड्रग इज इन द सॉलिड फॉर्म फर्स्ट इट हैज टू बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू लिक्विड और फर्स्ट इट हैज टू बी डिजोल्व इन द एक्वियस फॉर्म द डिजोल्यूशन डिपेंड्स अपॉन द साइज ऑफ पार्टिकल जितना छोटा होगा उतना फास्ट डिजोल्व होगा so here we can see the equation that the size of the particle of drug is directly proportion to dissolution and dissolution is directly proportion to absorption the second point is if orally drug diya hai and you have taken the meal just before it so what food will do food will dilute the drug and it will retard its absorption it will slower its absorption and sometimes what happen food complex a uh, food form some complex insoluble complex with the drugs for example tetracycline and antibiotic when consumed along with milk so tetracyclines form an insoluble substance along with the calcium present in the milk so this can hamper the absorption of tetracycline the next point is absorption of drug 
can be affected with concurrent drug ingested along with it. For example, when iron preparations are given and simultaneously when antacids are given, what antacids will do? Antacids will prevent the absorption of iron. So, we should think which drug should be given according to their properties. For this, we can ingest the drug at some time of interval so that they do not form complex with each other. The next point is certain drugs are degraded in GIT like uh, insulin when we give insulin orally GIT enzymes degrade insulin or break down insulin and don't allow its absorption when penicillin G is given orally intestine, G, uh, gastrointestinal enzyme don't allow its absorption the last point is certain drugs alter the gut flora the motility and can damage the mucosa of the GIT uh, if we take example of amoxicillin, an antibiotic, it alters the gut flora producing side effect as diarrhea. So all these points are depended or all these points should be considered while giving or while calculating the absorption of a drug. The next is the subcutaneous or the intramuscular route. When drugs are administered by this route, it directly goes into the vicinity. It directly goes around the blood vessel rather than GIT. For in, GI, uh, in oral form, the drugs enters into the GIT. But when we give drugs subcutaneously or intramuscularly, they are around the vicinity of the blood vessels. So, if when we give intramuscularly the tissues, they have the blood vessels closer to them. So, the drugs get fastly absorbed there. In subcutaneous tissue, the subcutaneous layer and afterwards the muscular layer, and then the subcutaneous absorption is faster than the oral absorption. So the equation we can see here, the drug given intramuscularly is absorbed faster than the drug given subcutaneously and the drug given subcutaneously is absorbed faster than the drug given orally. And this absorption we can also increase by various methods. Like if intramuscular injections are given, we can tell the patient to walk or do some kind of exercise. So, which increases the absorption of drug. The next comes the topical. Here, on, in uh, cases of topical application, only lipid soluble drugs are absorbed faster. Water soluble drugs are not absorbed as better as lipid soluble drugs because very few drugs are able to penetrate the intact skin. Mostly drugs are able to penetrate the abraded skin. The cornea and the mucous membrane only absorb lipid soluble drugs. If you give water soluble drug, it won't get absorbed and the drug won't act. So these were the factors which uh, vary or which can calculate the rate of absorption. The next comes the bioavailability of the drug. Abhi drug de to diya hai, absorb to hua hai, but usme se kitna percentage same gaya hai with unchanged chemical structure. So, the drug absorbed or the fraction of the administered drug after absorption reaching the systemic circulation in unchanged form is the bioavailability of that drug. The drug given through IV have 100% of bioavailability. Why? Because wo wo GIT mein nahi jata hai. it don't has to cross that intestinal epithelium, it don't go under the first pass metabolism. So, if 100 mg drug diya hoga, to uska bioavailability becomes 100%. 100 mg is absorbed. But when the drug given orally, the bioavailability is low. Why? Because it has to cross the intestinal epithelial cells, it goes in the first pass metabolism in the liver. So, the bioavailability reduces. If 100 mg drug diya hai, to only 70 mg gets absorbed. So this is the concept of bioavailability. So here we end with the topic absorption. In next video, we will be studying about distribution. Guys, stay tuned and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.